I've never really liked a lot of wood, which I always felt like made me like a villain. You know, it's like... <laughs> You're the Cruella de Vil of wood? I know. I'm like, oh, no wood. She's... I don't want wood for anything. And Yeah, but the villains are hot. <laughs> yeah. So don't freak if you just painted your, your home high reflective white. But if you haven't painted it yet, I would definitely consider like the shoji white. Like, ew, I hate pillows. Or how do you sit on that? <laughs> my, my butt? <laughs> Just you can put move my them. Butt on it. Just not, sit on it. They're not glued. You... Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and my husband Jack and I we're taking a little mini office break. We've been taking on so many new design projects. We're gonna have so much to share with you in a few months. But there's a lot going there's on. There's a lot going on right now. And so we've been super busy. And what's so fun for us is because we do run a design business, a lot of times we get questions and we, we notice a theme a lot of times over the course of our own business, the questions that you guys are asking. And that's where a lot of times our video ideas come from. And that's where today's has come from <laughs> for sure. We noticed that a lot of people were asking how to warm up their home. We hear a lot of people saying things like, it just doesn't feel homey. It doesn't feel warm and inviting. Yeah, it doesn't feel cozy in that kind of place you want to linger. Yeah, and it and I hear a lot because a lot of people have been painting their houses white and yeah. interior in I cannot say interior. Interior <laughs> crocodile. Of right all here. the of all the words to not be able to say. <laughs> as interior a, as a designer. And exterior. <laughs> That a lot of times we people around here, especially in our area, love to hear from you guys if you guys are experiencing that where you are. A lot of people in the Atlanta area are definitely painting the interior and exterior of their homes white. And then they're like, it feels really cold. And so we're gonna talk to you today about little ways and some of the bigger ways to add warmth to your home because we want you to walk in and just feel all those cozy, warm, homey vibes and that feeling and yeah. sense of just I'm home and that joy. We want you to feel all that. So make sure you hit subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up and let us know which of these tips is helping you the most as you make your house more warm. Yeah, or if there's a tip that you have that you think Ooh. we should have added because what I love about our community is that we have so many wonderful people from all over the world and we love being able to hear from you. So make sure you write down in the comment section and yeah. Cheers. Let's Cheers. get started, let's shall we? Let's jump in. Yeah, let's jump in. Okay. Oh, it looks like you brought my, did you get my, you got my, my blanket. <laughs> he said grab blankets. I was like, well, let's get her favorite Jack ones. Jack has literally grabbed all the blankets that he sees me cuddling with. Be right back. Gonna notice the theme here. <laughs> One of our favorite ways to add warmth to the home is one of the easiest and quickest things that you can do, and that's to add some blankets to your sofa, to your chair, even in my office. Like, I always have a blanket. There's blankets everywhere. There's blankets everywhere. We, and I don't think that's gonna come as a surprise to any no. of you, but what I've noticed is that when I go into people's homes, a lot of times they just don't have blankets. They're not, they're not warming up their upholstered furniture, their chairs. I mean, I have one of <laughs> them sitting in the like dining everywhere. room. Everywhere, <laughs> like everywhere. I love to warm up a space with a blanket and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Uh, this beautiful one with the wool is, I, I look for ones that have a, a feeling of warmth to them, not just I'm gonna be warm under it, but I love the fact that this has a, a warm taupe color. I love the little fringing. I love That's that it's That's a really just... good point, by the way. I didn't think about that. Because there are a lot of blankets you could buy. Yeah. And they have, you know, I don't know, whatever on them. There's these. Go to the store and it's like, which oh, one am I supposed to pick, right? These look warm. Yeah. They look cozy. They look cozy. That's the perfect word. Yeah. You want something that looks cozy. Yeah. And I try to find something that's cozy and chic at the same time. So I know I'm asking a lot out of my blankets. <laughs> I'm a very demanding woman like that. The blanket's like, I just don't have it. But this one's from H&M and it's got a beautiful little weave in it and it's I just gorgeous. This, this is the one I actually sit with at my office and it's actually from Target. And I have this thing with these like boucle Sherpa kind of style oh, but the back blankets. side of this one, did you show the back side? Well, that's the thing. So this is the other oh. one that I've got from Pottery Barn and I literally sleep These, with this every night. I mean, they're so soft they and are, warm. They are, and they really will add a lot of warmth to your space. The textures and the colors you can see, we've done like creams and taupes. 
We have a lot of uh, like a warm black or maybe a deep gray. But either way, I think the color and the, yes. the texture of it's really important. And you can have them just folded neatly or just kind of thrown down. We just love a blanket. It just instantaneously adds warmth. Some of the other things that we do to really add a lot of warmth to our own home and to our clients' homes is that we add a lot of lighting. And I found that a lot of times this is something that people tend to overlook. It's just really mm. easy because if you have recessed lighting, you might just be in the habit of flicking that on. Or if you have maybe a fan in the room, like a lot of like with the little lights right, on yeah. it. Like what I've noticed that a lot of times people just sort of go into auto mode about their lighting when actually it's one of the really, really important things that you need to make sure that you have in your home. So this little lamp, it just oh, came from Amazon. It's one of my all time is, favorites. Yeah, it was so inexpensive and it's been We've Amazing. used it in so many different Every rooms room. and we just really enjoy it. And that's just one example. And he's always funny about the light bulbs. And I think at first I was like, oh, stop making a drama. Like it's just light. And then it's like, no, I mean, okay. I take it for granted because he's taking care of it. Yeah, so a little pro tip. Anytime you buy a light bulb, flip it over on the back and there'll be a little warm and cold scale. And when you go towards that cold scale, which is what a lot of showrooms do, hospitals, stuff like that, it's gonna be really, really blue white. You go to the other direction to warm, What's especially- the, Do you remember what the number is that you look for? I look as high off the scale. Like okay. if it's pegged over to the far left on warm, I'm like, yes. Okay. And whatever you do, make sure they match. Like yeah. don't have one blue one, cause then that guy's like Rah. Well, you have blue and then yellow and then it makes green in the middle of the room and that yeah, doesn't look good just, on anybody, so. No. <laughs> it doesn't feel warm, it feels sickly. So uh, also I think about all four corners of a room and I wanna make sure that I light all corners of the space. So hmm. if I have a space that I can't light with maybe a, a light itself, the other thing that we'll do is that we'll do candles. Yes. You, you said wanna, the word. You wanna show them your, some of your yes. favorites? Okay. <laughs> We just love to light our spaces with candles. Oh yeah. And I know that a lot of times some of you write in and you say that maybe you have cats or you're you're scared to light a candle. If you're in that group, I would actually suggest these uh, hurricane ones because you can actually even, I honestly, I prefer them to actually have a candle inside of them. I think it's more protected like this. Um, even from my husband, who's <laughs> like wiggling it around. <laughs> Sorry. CB2 or uh, Crate and Barrel actually just came out with a new hurricane set that I was eyeing and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. But it's nice because it's actually down in the glass, so you don't have to worry as much. But I think you could also hide one of the faux candles down yeah, in this, and it would be a little less obvious that there's a faux candle in there. So I do love these, I think they're amazing. I also love to be able to warm with uh, a candle holder that has a lot of warmth to it like this does. These are just from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target, so they're super inexpensive. But that sort of warmth on here adds a lot of texture and a lot of light. And think about the scents of the candle because you don't want well, that's, the you, fireplace. Did you know I was gonna say that next? No, because I can't read it. <laughs> I have my glasses on, I can't read anything. I no, think it's I think really of, true. I think yeah, that if you, fragrance Yeah, if everyone's important. like bundled up and there's a fire going and then you have tropical mist going in the background, it's just like, yeah. what? So yeah. we use a lot of really warm he fragrances. He uses a lot. Oh, you especially are, this time of the year. I, I, love, I love it too, it. but he's obsessed with the fragrances. I really am obsessed. <laughs> So yeah, definitely. that's why I'm, I'm I'm working on my candle line. So so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, I think that we just really love fragrance. It does add a lot of warmth to the space. Definitely, like you're saying, is choosing the warmth for the season that you're in can add a sort of ambiance. And so they're really ambiance and warmth are really connected to each other. And these are just really easy ways to make your space feel warm and cozy and. Even if you have an ultra modern space, you can always have a beautiful scent. Another thing that I love to do is I love to add wood. Now it's funny because I've never really liked a lot of wood, which I always felt like made me like a villain. You know, it's like- <laughs> You're the Cruella like, de Vil of wood. I know, I'm like, oh, no wood. She's I don't hot. want wood for anything and- Yeah, but the villains are hot. <laughs> Jack. I like the villains. Like. Gladly take Cruella no, over a princess. No zebras were harmed in the making. No princess on this couch, people. The villain right here. Maybe just a little bit, okay? <laughs> I love the villain. A little bit of naughtiness never hurt this world. So. <laughs> so I never break the laws, okay? No. 
<laughs> I don't think you're I'm a villain. law-abiding citizen. I don't think you're a villain because you want to bring in a wood decor piece in your home. No, probably not. That's probably not on, you know, I, I don't think we've been to any country where that was illegal, but... <laughs> Yeah, I do think that wood is a great way to warm up your space. You can warm it up with small accessories like these. Look at how great these I are. I love those. You can also bring in wood furniture. That's something that I've gotten better at and I'm really, I'm just really suddenly into it. I can't stop obsessing over it. All I those wood, we're, we're talking about switching out the dining table to something that's more yeah. significantly wood. I saw a mood board earlier on her computer that happened to be our living room and You're I was like- You're not supposed to tell them about that because I was going to show that in an upcoming video. I, well, I won't describe it. Make sure you it, hit subscribe so you don't miss but out But all on I'm that. saying is it was like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. And a lot was not changing, but enough was that it was like dramatic You're and it was wood. A, I'm, it's wood. I, I just I loved feel it. that sense of warmth that it really brings. So whether you are adding a piece of furniture, a dining table, oh my God. Dine, uh, coffee tables or even just small accessories it's an easy way yeah. to warm up your entire space there's something about it that just is really natural and raw and I don't know what it is it's connects you to nature it, it just does feels warm. it just feels warm so, yep. yeah there you go rugs really do add an enormous amount of warmth oh, into yeah. your space. One of my favorite places to shop actually, and this isn't an ad or anything, I just love to shop at Rugs USA. In fact, I even just made a list of my favorites and put it, I have a little, have you guys signed on to the Like to Know It app? If you don't have that, you need to download it. It's so great. If you download the little app, and then follow Valentina Fussell as your first follow. But inside of there, I post little mood boards all the time of like my favorite items, maybe like an outfit that I'm thinking about. I'll create outfit ideas and then post them there as well as room ideas. I bought her Valentine's gifts from her like it's no board. I was like, oh, she loves this. <laughs> no, I'll but, buy it. But that way I know, I, I kind of can see everything together. Yeah. So I mood board my outfits the way I mood board my home because I like to be able to see it all and make sure it's gonna work. I love you. So, I know I'm nuts. I really do. <laughs> I love that you do that. We just love being able to add rugs to a space and just seeing how much they just add so much warmth. I think it's the layering of things as well. It's not just the rug itself, but it really does add a lot of warmth. It adds warmth visually, and it, especially your feet. I mean, if you have tile floor, those are cold in the morning, you know. Yeah, and even just, the wood can be cold. Yeah. Stepping out on a rug, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So Jack has brought in one of my favorites, but it's like bigger it's than everywhere me. everywhere now. I, I can't make it not cover your face. But here, by the way, a little side note. Here, this I'm was gonna a, turn it that way. Little side note, this was a trimming that died off and now it's got all this new growth on it. Yeah, it's from one of our little bushes. I'm like so happy. I I'm know. gonna name them. You're gonna name them? Charlie. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> well, the next one up is adding patina. And that is really the idea of adding age. You wanna mm. add something that feels like it's aged over time. So if you go into a space and let's just say it's white and then you have a, a, a white towel floor and you've got a white leather sofa and there's no softness in it and you're just in a big white box and then you go out and you buy a shiny glass vase, the whole room is going to feel cold. Right. So if you have a space like that, or maybe you have some version of that in your own home, an easy thing to do is just to simply add some vases. And Jack has been very kind to gather a couple of his favorites. And this is the one that we've put down into our primary bathroom. This is what, this is just from Target, it's really inexpensive. Even this one, this looks like the Moroccan ones that are handmade in Morocco, but it's actually from Pottery Barn. Oh wow. These add a ton of warmth to your space and then you can choose. Sometimes I use them more as sculpture and then other times I'll grab something from outdoors and see how I'm bringing in wood in my own way, like literally bringing wood in. I love that. But I think it can really add a lot of warmth and just even in that, you know, that think of that cold room and then bringing something in from nature with something with a little patina. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I wouldn't say it's a mistake, but I would say that it's something that people are struggling with. So a lot of times when you're choosing a white for your home, whether it's for the exterior or the interior, choosing a white is really important and you could be using these on furnishings and all different things but what i have found is that a lot of times the colors that you're putting on your wall really do make a big difference so if you just went out 
and painted your walls in high reflective white, you're probably going to feel, I think even in camera, you can kind of feel those bluish hues. I'll pop it up this on is, camera too on screen. Well, I really want them to be able to see too, because I think being able to see it here, you can kind of see how that is a lot more white, okay? And then when you put it next to simply white, how much more yellow you see. Oh yeah. So I, I want to show you that like this, because I feel like sometimes when it pops up on the screens, you may not be able to see the difference. So what will happen is that sometimes people will put high reflective white throughout everything in their home. And there's nothing wrong with that. You haven't made a mistake if you've done that. So if you're thinking about the wall color that you have in your home, you may wanna think about maybe just warming up your space a little bit more. So a lot, right now, a lot of people are moving towards like Old Prairie, Elder White, mm. uh, Big Chill. We, we, we're just moving towards some of these warmer tones towards the bottom. And in fact, I, I really need to, I'm showing you, I really need to flip and this will really show you. When you're looking at the Sherwin-Williams and you see the high reflective white and then the Greek villa sitting next to each other, can you see the difference? And you can see, this is the one I take with me on my consultations. <laughs> this is legit. Okay, so the Greek villa is just a lot warmer than the high reflective white. So usually I'll put maybe Greek villa on the house and the high reflective white as maybe a mm. little bit of the trim. But when you do the high reflective white, it's going to be so white. I think of like Ross's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great that episode. <laughs> like it's like super white. And if you do that, then you're just gonna you need to use other elements to warm up the space even more because now you've just made it so white. So don't freak if you just painted your, your home high reflective white. But if you haven't painted it yet, I would definitely consider like the shoji white and some of these warmer ones down here. Oh my gosh, I've got one that I cannot wait to show you. So these are you. definitely bigger, like what? Some of these solutions are simple and easy. Yes. Some of these are a little more, yes. a little more involved. There's, but that's where we're getting. Like I feel like we started off with the easy ones, so we didn't freak you out. But I think that this can be really, really helpful. I feel like they're all white, oh, but they're not all. This is okay, like kid in a candy store. No, it's like literally having like a box of chocolates to me. So you can see here if I pull this, you can actually see these. We're talking about upholstery. So I know that white is really, really in right now, but one of the little mistakes that can actually be quite challenging. It's not, you can overcome mm. every single one of these. There's nothing that you could do that would be such a catastrophic mistake that you couldn't fix it. it. It's just not like that. This is your home. There's always little ways that you can, if you went white, 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 white on your upholstery, the chair in our bedroom is actually white. This is from Restoration Hardware and I'm holding it upside down, but um, that's their white, white. Now you really can't tell until I put it next to, so here you can see, this is the white from Pottery Barn, this is white from Restoration Hardware. And the interesting thing about that is that like, for example, the white sofa that we're sitting on right now, is like this Pottery Barn I one. know, everyone's all, oh, how do you have a white sofa with Louie? And I'm like, cause they're actually, it's actually the beige. same color. It's actually yeah. like a cream, kind of like yeah. off white. Our bed and our bedroom, it's not actually white. That's the actual sample from the bed in our bedroom and it's actually an off-white. So I think this is really interesting because when you go to pick your fabric for your sofa, think through, do you really want ultra, ultra, like the paints, the ultra, ultra, ultra white, or do you want something mm. that's like maybe just a little bit warmer yeah and then you can also add warmth through some of the other colors that you choose like look at that velvet that's the lustrous velvet and sand from uh restoration hardware and i've been obsessing over this color for probably about a year i yeah, just you have. love this color so much but you can still add your grays and look at how much warmth is sitting in my hand and look at that this is the restoration hardware that's their natural so that's interesting too. Now I'm getting too many in my hands. Look at their natural versus their white. Like the white is all is so white that it's almost difficult to even show you. Yeah. But well, what's interesting though is we're in a shaded room and this starts to turn blue. Yeah. Which means in a shaded room, which a lot of us have, especially during you know the night, 
this is going to turn blue, this is nice and warm. Yeah, it's going to feel warm. This is when it starts warm. to change up. Yeah. So as you think about your upholstered items, maybe as you go to buy a chair, you could also think about, did I bring it with me? Yeah, I did. Um, what about some leather? Oh. Leather just really warms this palette up. So if you decided to buy something in the ultra white, because mm -hmm. our chair in our, in our bedroom is white like this, um, but I warm it up with like a really pretty blanket. Yeah. So then I would recommend thinking about just going with a warmer material for your upholstery just in general, unless you just want to use that as like a statement piece and you're really wanting to play up Which that is beautiful. purity. Oh my gosh, it's like an Italian outfit. Oh, like you want to go ride a horse with that outfit really on. It's really summery, doesn't it? Yeah, it's See? beautiful. So there's nothing that you could possibly do that would be a mistake. It's just a matter of pulling all those elements together. Grab one of those blankets. Look at, look at how, that's how, that's what we do all day long. Yeah. As we pull the fabrics, we pull the samples, we pull all these sort of things, and then think about the candle sitting oh. here as well. Change it out to even this one with that pure white. Oops. And you start to like. Yeah, look at how that's oh. just totally different and a different color story. Yeah. So that's what I like. I think that it's really, really beautiful. And by the way, you've taught me something that I did not know. Well, you've taught me a lot of things, but for in the context <laughs> of color, is that you can put this, if you have this pure, pure white, you uh -huh. can put a beige with it. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Never knew that. I wore an outfit a few weeks ago, I had these white pants. And you had me put on this like beige sweater. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Well, that's like this, right? If the I sofa was that. this pure white and we go on to our next one, which is adding pillows, that is a beige pillow with the white, white sofa. Yeah. And then if you did the natural, look at how you can still get away with these colors. Yeah, and then you bring colors. a leather. Yeah. Oh. So the next one is to add pillows. I've got three pillow covers. You guys know we love to use pillows to warm up a space. It just instantly adds a feeling of warmth and home. Yeah. It's a feeling of coziness because you're meant to sink down into it and get comfy and cozy. I go through phases right now in our big family room. There's not a single pillow on a single thing. No. But there's always the blankets. But then in this room, we've got it loaded up with oh, pillows. Yeah. So you get to choose what kind of pillow person you want to be or what pillow mood you're in. Some people are just like, ew, I hate pillows. Or how do you sit on that? I'm like, <laughs> my, my butt? Just you can put move my them. Butt on it. Just not, sit on it. They're not glued. You can... yeah. <laughs> they bite. They're horrible. I love pillows. So think about your own personality and how you want to add them in or don't. I think it's fun. Yeah, I think that's about all the time that we I have. Know. We've got to get back to work. We've got so many fun projects. <laughs> I'm like, the boxes keep coming in for design projects. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like samples literally just arrived. That oh, was so what the doorbell fun. was for. So <laughs> I love it so much. And we're going to have so much to share with you. I get so emotional. I'm, I love this. I love that we have this community where we get to get together and encourage each other and remind each other of that joy of creating home. So I hope that we have encouraged you and loaded you up with lots of food for thought and we cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, I know I'm gonna take your little line. You're gonna I know. subscribe. Don't forget to hit subscribe <laughs> and give us a big thumbs up. And again, let us know out of these tips which one you're like, yes, I gotta do this today. And if you have an extra tip that we didn't think of, leave it down below in the comment section. Oh, I know, I forgot. We didn't mention the wood floor when we talked about wood versus oh. tile. See, got another video coming I know. out. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. No, you have to write a book. Like at first I thought, There's a oh. fuzzy going through the air. Yeah, I know, it keeps <laughs> flying around. You all right? <laughs> it finally happened. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> No, earlier I was like, she should write greeting cards. And I was like, no, she'd need to write, this is what is happening in my mind while you're talking. So while I'm talking and Jack's like this. I'm like, <laughs> literally. You'll know now what's in his head. She should write a greeting card. <laughs> she should write many greeting cards. Oh, that would be a small book. Why doesn't she write a book? That's where my mind was going. And then you're like, this is your part. I'm like, oh, I don't know. This explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. We may need to get you medicated. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. <laughs>